Hey, what's happening everybody? Chris here from Test the Speed Shop. Just a little update on what we've got going on with the Firebird. Uh, we got the tail panel on. Got that all welded up and on. Now we didn't do the very bottom yet. We still got to do down at the bottom underneath. Uh, we got the top part of the coil, or the coil, the quarter panel on and welded them aside. We still got to do down at the very bottom uh, the wheel well and the trunk drop off. That's all we got to do yet. So just a quick update of what we have going on. We didn't weld it here yet because we needed the quarter panel to be able to move in and out of the tail panel. So once we get that all cinched up we'll uh, weld all that up and get that all done. So if it's coming along, everything's nice and solid. Shell panel's nice and solid. So, it's not going any place. So, uh, what else did we do? Oh, we adjusted the trunk lid. We got that fitted up pretty good. Um, still got a little bit of a wide gap on this side compared to the other side. But the problem is this new quarter's made and it's it sticks out a little further than the other side does but they're pretty even it's just our gap over here is a little wider than it is over here and I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do much with that um, we'll work with it and see uh, we did thanks to Jonathan at Final Village Garage, we did a little bit of 2 by 4 body work on the trunk lid, and uh, we got it down pretty good. We could probably get it down a little bit further, so we're going to work on that a little bit too. So this side is pretty good. Over here, just up top here, it's a little, it's a little high up top there, so we'll see what adjustments we can make. So, I don't know if the trunk lid got a little kink in it or not from the accident it's hard to say but it fits on there good I mean we got it it latches nice and everything we got it all squared up I'm sure there's going to be some more work to do to it um, after we get the quarter panel on so I mean even if that's the gap we can only get we'll we'll deal with it we'll figure it out I think if we get this piece in here a little bit more because you can see here how the quarter panel comes pretty far over. I just don't know how we're going to... I mean, right now it works. It's not hitting. So, I don't know. We'll see what we can do with it. But, other than that, that's about it for right now. I'm getting everything welded up. We just got to finish welding the quarter on, and then that's it. And it's time to grind and putty and make it look straight so all right that's going to be it for now hey what's going on everybody Chris here from test the speed shop As you can see we have an empty bay because the firebird is out and running Got the quarter on, it's all welded up, we got it all ground down and everything. Everything's all welded up and done. So, strip this side back down so we could uh, start doing our body work on it. And put some epoxy primer on it that done I gotta finish stripping the quarter panel I gotta get the rest of this off here so that's about as far as we got today so but it's looking pretty good a lot better than it was the tail panel looks really nice that came out good so we still got some body work to do. I screwed up and I ended up grinding 
a little too aggressively in some spots and we got to fill some holes in because I'm a little dangerous with the grinder so but it looks nice so now the next step is doing body work throwing some paint on it make it look like one color so letting it sit out here and run because it's been jacked up on the jack stand for like two months. So it's a little exercise. So that's about where we're at now. We straightened out the trunk lid a lot. Got that fitting up pretty nice. So it opens and closes pretty good. Got it gapped about as best as we're gonna get it. Since it took that smack on this side, it's hard to say what's out of whack and what isn't, but it's all pretty straight. So now it's just a question of just bonneling it up and locking her straight and getting some paint on it. So that's about all we got going on right now. I'm just happy it's all together and whole. Nice and solid. No more. Thud, thud, thud. It's got a piece of metal on it. So, I'm pretty happy with it. it looks pretty good. So, next step is paint. Well, body work, and then paint. So, hopefully, I'm going to keep jamming on it as much as I can to get this thing done. So... I don't want this to be a, an all summer project. Not at all. So. But it's an update. I did a, there's another video that's going to be before this. this is, I guess last time I brought you back, we had just started welding the quarter on. So we got it all finished up. And it's all ground down. So. Get all this epoxy, this EP coating crap off of here. Get that primed up and then start the body work on that. So, still quite a bit to do yet, but we're getting closer. At least it's all solid. It's metal now instead of rotted stuff and eight inches of bondo. So, you happy, Tom? Are you happy? I know. There's our, there's our metal pile. Bone yard. Our bone yard. Bone yard. <coughs> our mess of stuff. All right. Well, that should be about it. More stuff I get done, I'll bring you back. See ya.